You're just gonna walk away. You're just gonna leave my dad on the ground right now. We're at a hospital. You're gonna leave my dad on the ground right now? You saw the video first right here on ABC 10 and new tonight. I'm talking exclusively with the 61 year old local veteran left outside on the ground at Mercy San Juan Hospital. He spoke to me at home on Zoom from his sick bed. Veteran or not, they, nobody should have been treated like that. Not at a hospital where you go in there for help and you're already in pain and hurting. Michael Sanders is a proud father and husband who fell in his backyard. He says once he got to the ER, the hospital tried to place him in a wheelchair, but he couldn't bend his upper torso. And so he ended up on the ground waiting for a bed. There was no reason for it. You know, it's, if they were short on beds, instead of trying to slam me into a, a, a wheelchair, they could have put me on a... Uh, Backboard. Instead, Mr. Sanders says he spent more than an hour on the ground with his wife by his side. Just shock and horror. Mm -hmm. That's all I could say about it. Just shock and horror. And I saw you were actually down there with him trying to do the best you could to help him. Yeah, I was. I was on the ground trying to keep him calm. It was heartbreaking to see him down there on the ground. That's not something you ever want to see going up to the emergency room. Dignity Health says the care and safety of our patients is always our top priority, and we take this matter very seriously. We are in the process of conducting a thorough investigation of the matter. The video depicts a brief snapshot of what was in reality several hours of the patient's encounter in our emergency room. Patient privacy laws prevent us from providing specific information about this patient's care, but we regret that this patient did not have a good experience. I think it's a crock of crap. I really do. Why is that? Because what are they investigating? The family says the video speaks for itself and they would like an official apology and a list of actions the hospital plans to take to ensure no one else has that type of experience.